Alright, I'm making this video because I've been getting a lot of flack lately on my video that I just posted about blowing DC level 418. Got a lot of comments from people just hating. Got some constructive criticism, which I don't mind. Um, but a lot of the comments were about the base boost being on. And about my tweeters not being flush mounted or recessed. And about my battery just sitting in the trunk now that I got the box out. Why does not strap down? And about the tweeters making some static noise when I take videos. Well, to cover the bases on all those, the tweeters cannot be flush mounted. The, the TWS.3s can, but I have the TWS.4s. And so I get comments on here, time out, why they're not flush mounted. Well, if... If you check out Tough Guy 40's videos, so we'll shout out Tough Guy 40. He has three sets of the same tweeters I have, and none of his are flush mounted because he can't do it. It looks just like mine right on the surface, just fine. And his are nice and clear. My camera can't pick up the signal very good on the mic. It's uh, too much when I have the volume up. It's just too much for the mic, so it just starts getting staticky. So. I put annotations in the video too to explain that, but apparently people just start commenting at the beginning of the video and don't want to watch it through to figure it out. So that's not my bad, that's their bad. So just letting you guys know that I'm doing what I what I can and when it comes down to it, my system's for my own pleasure. You know? I do post videos because I like to get have other people watch them and it's pretty cool. And uh I got some constructive criticism from loud and low. Another shout out. I mean, he has some good points. I guess I shouldn't have had the base boost on, but I was just experimenting with it. Kept it up. Want to see what it was going to do. I mean, I know I'm putting 2K to a sub that can it's supposed to take 1K, so I was expecting it to blow. The video I posted was all sad with some sad music and all that. That was just for funsies. You know, my buddy Dr. Subwoofer, he's always screwing around. We're just laughing. I got somebody even commenting about how I said DC level 418 too much. Well, what is that about? That that isn't even the point of the video, so I'm not really sure you guys uh, get your jollies off commenting about crap. You know, it, it's not. It doesn't help the video at all. And if you just watch the whole thing, you can maybe find something else to enjoy instead of making fun of what I say or how I do things. Let's get to some of the comments here. See, so well, looking at your setup from not recessing the tweets and not mounting down the 100 pound plus battery having no clue how to tune your system sir you are a fail <clears throat> I'm not really sure what this guy was trying to do by commenting that apparently he must just be jealous I know a lot of people just diss when they're jealous so that's too bad for him as I responded the tweets are not made to be recessed check out tough guy 40's channel like I said he has three pairs and they're mounted the same way I do not recessed <clears throat> And about the 100 pound plus battery, it's 106 pounds. It's it's laying flat on its side now, and it can be because it's a gel cell. And it's doing just fine. It doesn't move at all. <clears throat> There's no point in me strapping it down, none of that, because i already driven around with it, and it does just fine. And I'm saying I have no clue how to tune a system. I do. I know how to tune my system. I, I do everything myself. I install, I tune, I do my amp, I do my heading, everything I do myself. If I choose to have settings a certain way that maybe you don't agree with, then that's, that's the way you want to do it, not the way I want to do it. So you're not tuning my system, I'm tuning my system. So if I want to have the bass boost up, and I want to have my low pass at such a way, or my loudness at such a certain way, I can do it. And then you guys, you know, uh, this guy here, if he doesn't if he doesn't want to watch my videos, I guess he doesn't have to, you know? No, no one's forcing him. Just doing this video here, because you guys are just, uh, I don't know, just complaining a little bit. And I was just kind of wondering what the, what what you guys were uh, getting out of that. Um, this guy here is saying, clip. No, now you are subless. Well, obviously, if the sub clipped, I don't have a sub. Of course I'm subless. What's the point of that comment? There's obviously no sub in the trunk. That would mean I'm subless. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I'm working on getting, trying to figure out if I want to get a recone or what I want to do, so... A uh, bunch of comments here. That kind of thing happens when you run bass boost. You blew it because you had bass boost on the heading all the way up, and it was clipping. <clears throat> Another thing, that camera catches bass, but it makes, when I play low tuning, it makes a lot of sounds, 
that isn't coming out of the sub. It's just the air moving in my cabin, and the way the air moves outside, it just makes the mic sound like, you know, it, YouTube doesn't do it justice on the video. It really doesn't. It sounds way different in real life, so, for what it's worth, the video is what it is, you know. This guy said he, <clears throat> he blew it because he had the bass on the heading all the way up, and it was clipping. And there's some guy even talking on here in Spanish. No es bueno. Uh, let's see. Can you say that? What kind of sub that is one more time? I'm still not sure if it's a DC level 418. Idiots. That's the way you. That's what you get for clipping the hell out of your, out of that with your bass boost up, and it has nothing to do with playing too low. Like I said, when I get someone I'm editing, I guess I could cut that out, but I don't see what it matters if you're just gonna pick my words. This guy's saying dumb for having a bass boost cranked. This is what you get for running a clip signal on full tilt. Like I said, if I want my bass boost up, I'll have it up. You can turn your bass boost down in your guys' system, but for now, I like to have mine up. Just a little experiment. I knew I was going to blow the sub, so if I wanted to crank a full tilt and just just give it its full power, and <clears throat> if I wanted to give it a signal like that, I could. Uh, say, apparently this guy's saying, LOL, you're a effing dumb A for having your bass boost all the way up. That is what you get. Maybe when someone tries to help you, you will not be a total dickweed and take it. Okay, so I don't know where this guy's coming from. But apparently all these people are agreeing. Ha ha, I agree. Times two. Okay. <clears throat> I heard what you guys say, and I understand what the clipping was about. And I understand the, cr the criticism I was getting, and I take that in. I do, I do fully understand it. But if I just because I didn't do it doesn't mean I didn't understand you and listen to you. I just chose not to do it. So, um, and another guy says, dang, dude, that sucks. Quick question, what program is that? See, that was actually a positive one. And I use, I use a Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate HD, if you're wondering. <clears throat> another guy saying, all I gotta say is I told you the bass boost on your head unit was gonna blow your sub. Rolls eyes, that's from loud and low. I know you told me about the bass boost, and I did choose to keep it up, so... I commented, yeah, I heard what you said, <clears throat> that I understand what you said, and I decided to keep it up. That's just the way things go, lol. Because I, that's my problem, and if I blew my sub, that's my problem, not anybody else's. If I want to blow my stuff, that's that's my deal. If I want to play it loud on full tilt with clipping, that's my deal. You're not the one paying for my system, I am, so, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Got someone here, Dr. Subber, for you crack me up. You're all funny, man. Exactly. That's the point of the video. I make my videos very funny. I'm always screwing around. Not very serious, you know. That's just my personality. If you don't like it, then I guess you don't, you know. You can go watch somebody else's video that's all serious, you know. But if you want to watch my videos, just know that I'm always screwing around. I'm always having fun. So, this guy comments. He apparently doesn't like having fun. He wants to be me to be all serious. He's like, GD... Uh, well, I'm not gonna cuss too much, because I don't really like saying those words, but, uh, GD, you and your friends sound like straight-up nerds. I even got two likes on that comment. So apparently, two other pricks like this guy's comment. I said, dude, chill out, we're just having fun, that's all. Because that is what we're doing, we're having fun, it's YouTube, who cares, you know? I'm not trying to get sponsors and people, you know, trying to pay me on YouTube, none of that crap. I'm just having fun, screwing around, so hope that clears things up, you know. Like I said, the, the sound on the mic is way different, doesn't do it justice. Oh, uh, look at this. I got a comment from Ken Rock saying fail on my upgrades. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I'm using his amp, by the way, Ken Rock. I got his amp. I bought it from him, so it's too bad he thinks that his amp isn't as good as he thought it was. Apparently he sold it to me. I would think I'd get positive feedback from using his amp. My AQ2200 is from him, but apparently not. So, I just got a bunch of uh, comments on here, just kind of clear stuff up. Um, if I didn't cover something and you're wondering, just let me know. Um, and I got my audio wrap in. I wouldn't be surprised if I got some disses comments on there so all right guys that's it for that little video rant whatever you want to call it i'm out